Let's turn now to our book review, Warden Park. Each week, Warden gives us a direction for good reading about health and well-being. What are you going to tell us about this week, Gordon? Hi, Kelly. I want to talk about the book called Why Zebras Then Get Ulcer by Robert Spolsky. I'll explain the title in a minute, but the book is about stress. And, well, I think stress is a topic that most of us are concerned about. Oh, yes, definitely. So, what did the author say about it? Well, basically, that there are two different kinds of stress. One can worse for you than the other, and guess quick how stress most people experience? The bad cut? Of course. Now, the author came to his conclusions about stress as the result of working with animals. Spolsky is a professor of biology and allergy who has spent about 20 years studying primates in, in Africa, specifically baboons. Baboons are kind of monkey, right? Yes, that's right. So, Spolsky studied stress in animals, and then he made some parallel to stress in humans, and that's what this book is about. Interesting. First, tell us about stress in animals. Okay, remember the title of the book is Why Zebras Don't Get Ulcer. Now, it's an interesting because zebras might feel stressed because they have been hunted by another animals. Obviously, they're stressful. Yes, but the interesting thing is that this kind of stress is very immediate. It's about living or dying within the next few minutes. It's not about what's going to happen in the next few weeks, months, or years. But Spolsky compared this type of stress that zero might experience to the baboons of the Asian and the different. Baboons only need to spend about 4 hours a day searching for food. So Spolsky argued that this gives baboons a lot of free time to worry and get stressed about things beyond immediate needs of survival. So you can see that this is a different class of stress. Yes, yeah, so are they smaller than the baboons? Exactly. A lot of our stress doesn't come from things that say so of our immediate survival. Usually, more long-term issues like money and job worries are just more less often about whether we are to live or die the next minute. Okay, but what is this more problem than zebra stress about the next two minutes? Well, Spursky points out that this is important for your body to react to a media crisis you know, if you have to run from danger, a random stress hormones could save your life. The problem comes if the reaction never gets turned off. So, if you're worried about long-term problem, that means your body could feel like an emergency state for the long periods of time. Over time, this kind of chronic weaken the immune system, increase the risk of heart disease, and make the brain more likely. I see, so can we do anything about this? The others seem to think so. Some of strategy are one that you may have heard about before. For example, exercise and having a good social support system with friends and family. It's interesting though, he points out that you need to choose a strategy that works for you. For example, if you really dislike exercise, there probably wouldn't be a good idea to try to release stress because doing something you don't enjoy could come more stress. A last idea, it sounds like you recommend this book? Yes, definitely. It gives a lot of interesting and useful information about stress, but the best part is that the information is represented in a clear, entertaining, and often humorous way. You can learn a lot from it, but it's not boring. Okay, another good book to add to our reading list. Thanks, Gordon.